Hey guys, welcome back to Die Jesus. My name is Maple. And I'm Ariana. And today we are watching The Bear. We're on season two, episode six. Is she smoking? She's pregnant. I feel like this is a flashback. Yeah, because she's blonde Yeah, now. her hair, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? It's Christmas. I love you, bear. I love you too, bear. Maybe just like, don't do it to yourself. Jolo is still. It's not like I want to ask. No, I know. It's that thing, you know. You ask somebody if they're okay, they immediately start thinking they're not acting okay. And that immediately makes them start not acting okay. And if that isn't a trauma response, I don't know what is. <laughs> you shouldn't have to. Okay. Oof, live there. Remember last year mm. and the year before? Mm -mm. Yeah. So I'm not fing crazy. Nobody thinks you're crazy. Yeah. yeah. Here I am just. In the middle, because you're you, you always guard me. Okay, so then just, you know, let us handle it. You won't handle it. No, we won't, exactly. That's my point. With her and me, not handling it. It's the best way to handle it. Their mom? So unhealthy. She's yes, right now, absolutely. Four? I've heard you ask her three times tonight if she's all right. You don't have to ask her every 10 minutes if she's okay. That's not going to help him. Do you know how much I would love to feel like I, I didn't have to ask her? That you love that very, very much. Yes, a <laughs> lot. I would love it a lot. I'm sure. Hey, you guys call me? No. I just said you're you. Hey, hey, Mike, can you come inside and be you real quick? I don't know how to deal with these people. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah. Oh, I see. Happy you're home, Bear. Kelly to pick up the phone. I wonder if this was their last Christmas together. Oh, for sure. I'm happy you're home. I'm not gonna ask if she's okay. It's good. Carmel, you handle mom? Yeah, I'll handle. Mickey, them? I'm gonna handle. Our mother of victory. Pray, pray for us. <sighs> uh, what would you like me to do? That is so exactly why I don't. <laughs> Me. Here, new person, take this. It's Steven. You Saul. met him a million times. Sorry, you met him a million times. I'm not touching it. Tell Carol to stop shouting at me. Hey, bro, why oh my god, it is Saul. Stop it here, sugar. This is just a lord. No, <laughs> stop it one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. How many f facts are there? Well, there's Kevin, <laughs> Sammy, and Susan. And <laughs> a lot. Isn't there like a shit ton? Yeah. Gary. Okay. Well, back, no, to the back, to the back, back to the pitch. Back to the pitch. $500. Copy and paste. Can turn into. Fifteen hundred dollars within a couple, couple months. months. Time out. Yeah. yeah. Hold this so yeah. I can slap you. Stupidest fucking idea I ever heard. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Do you think he's in? Do you think he's in? Was that a business slap? Yeah. Huh? Oh my gosh. Are they matching shirts? <laughs> no. With like these sweaters yes. over their shoulders. It's so funny. Uh, Comment. I'm spilling shit everywhere. And I'm behind on the lobster. I'm mean, I have a question. Is Freaky Friday. Is that who that is? Is he gay? Is who gay? Is that Jamie Lee Curtis? I can't Jamie tell. Lee Curtis? I can't tell. I mean, yes, I think it is. Yeah, for sure. I love yeah. her. Yes. Especially after everything everywhere all at once. Lady. Do you think I've been doing this this morning for? Okay, mom, hey. How can I help? Oh. there. Yeah. Hey, Carmen. Yeah. Stop giving me shit about it. What? I'm just trying to do a nice thing, honey. Just, just stop like that. We call this ponytail season in my house. Michael! Michael, hit him. Hey, Michael! Hey, Mike! Where's that skateboard? Are you cut? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Hey, 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 can you grab some paper towels from the garage? I didn't just grab my towels. Sugar, stop asking if she's good. What are you doing? Come on, Mike. Look, a grown man. Why are you looking for a Hey, it's just defrosting, Ma. It's fine. Why don't you let him help you? It's like all he fucking does. He'd be great. What was that? What was that? Like a, that was a shot or? A... Oh, he is helping me. Is that a shot? Well, well, yeah. I'm the guy that does food. You're the guy that what? You you uh, you start a hundred different businesses and have zero follow. Carmen, I need you to check the Branzino. I feel like that was a shot, Carmen. I'm saying like, this is why. This is why I didn't want to come home. This is why. Oh, oh, you. Oh. What? what? Why would you say that? Why would you say you don't want to come to me? Whatever, okay, whatever. Whatever, okay. We're very happy you're home, Carm. We're all very fing proud of you. We all really fing love you. Baby, you're just being a fing say the words. Say the words, Carmen, come on. Say the words. Just say it. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
threw up all over my sweater. Hey, Is it okay I brought with your robe? Oh, of course. You know what? It looks so pretty. Oh, honey, you should keep it. Oh, you're so sweet. No, and you okay? Are you okay? What? Yeah. No? Oh, all right. She's not all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. I know. She I is know. not all right. What? What? She is throwing up. <gasps> oh, that's Richie's. Okay. You know what? That's Richie's baby, baby mama. mama. You know what? Go lay down. You want a okay. Sprite or something? You go up. Okay, I'll I'm going to get you a Sprite. Right. You want anything else, babe? I don't know. You good, Bear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm I asked good, you not good. to do this. I didn't do anything. Yeah. What? You look a little green. You want a spray? Thank you. I feel. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Thank you. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, not great. I feel terrible. Okay. <laughs> I feel better. Thank Owls. you. Thank yeah. you. No, Auntie D. What? Uh, are we out of Sprite? We don't have Sprite. We don't have Sprite? I got it. I got it. All right. No, 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 no. You can't go to the store. You can go to the store now. I my timers are going off. No, I know, I know, I know. I it's fine. You. No, no, no. I'm just. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. It's fine. Oh, you're gonna. You're gonna make. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna make sprite. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna make fucking sprite. Yeah. <laughs> you with butter pop all over yeah, her hands. Pop machine. Yeah. 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 Sir, you're good. Listen, Listen I know you sprite. keep thinking like you no. want to try to help. Do you want to just oh, make the I whole dinner? Make a sprite. I, I just stop. Sprite. Okay. Just stop. How the fuck do you know how to make sprite? You know how he knows how to make sprite because he's a big time chef. Oh. That's how. That's how I know. I know. I forgot. Thank you, Fresh. She like loses all of her what? like That's her energy like sugar just like lose all of her energy around her mom to find new dreams and homes with new people yeah carmen take out the pursuit in the mortadelle please yeah i got you yo oh. yo there you go sprite 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 Fuck. the why lobster somebody listening to me well i'm listening no no no. why is no one listening, I'm listening. to what? me what what i said move the pot when I said move the pot. Right now, I'll move the pot. You want me to move the pot? I said move the oh, right pot. Right here, here, here's the pot. And it's can move in and it's going right over here. Thank you. Okay? There you go. I'm sorry. I just need a second. I just need Thank to go look you. at this. Let's go. Let's need your help. What? Your help. What? 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 Me. No. no. Yeah. yeah. Christmas, bro. What? Merry fucking Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Me right we're now. We're trying to tell you we ran into the love of your Dude, I don't have a love of my hey. life. Just tell you. Bear. Blair Bear! Blair Bear, bro. Oh, Blair? We saw oh. Blair Bear. That <laughs> fucking Yo. genius down the street. She's beautiful. And by the way, she's like, she's like a legitimate wizard. Yeah, she's she obsessed school. with science. She's in school. What did you do? Bro, what did you do? do anything. What, what, just, what do you mean? Massage ah. the Bro, this is a once in a million opportunity for you to score with a woman that's stacked physically and mentally. Oh, you're having a child. Like, what the fuck what are you talking about? Like, I'm not, it's not about oh, me. Carmen, what are you talking about? She's oh, hot now. Carmen. She's hot oh, now. Look at him. Just hey, Steven, hey, Steven, get the f in here, please. please. Richie, just like. Oh, Richie's been Richie. Who the that's John Mulaney. What? I didn't even realize that's who. <laughs> I was like, yeah. who the f is that? Deeply good person. I can see why you're in love with her. I'm not in love with her, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, they said you were in love with her. Where did you guys get this from? They put it in No, it's because you open Oh my gosh, man. Brother handled it. Your brother handled it. I, I understand now the, the um, intoxication of this, the situation a little bit more now between them. <gasps> oh. No. Oh. Auntie D, did you just throw a spoon at me? Yeah, I did. You, Richard, bring her the pop. Katie. Carmen, I need you to just back. calm down. You gotta oh. chill. Ma. This room is so insane. Yeah, it's a lot. Carmen made this for you. What do you mean he made it for me? He made it for you. He's like a goddamn pop machine, this guy. He's a weird little dude. Yo. Right? Right? I threw up so many times that I honestly forgot what I was mad about. You just puked all that anger up, just got it all out of it, don't you? Do you think that she'll like us? I don't know. I hope so. I'll be like our parents, you know? Well, you're not like a psycho vampire. Alcoholic. Bitch, like, vindictive. no offense. No, it's, it's accurate. I'm actually here. So that's a start. <laughs> the upside of barf is that you get some peace and quiet. That is true. Get to be away from all those psychos downstairs. Do you think Donna's going to kill me if I throw up on her robe? I don't think she'll notice. <laughs> This is very couples coded. Yes. <laughs> because honestly, I get it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have one quick question now for you. Mm -hmm. Is that a leopard? <laughs> or is it a cheetah? Or is it a panther? It's a leopard. We're in Donna's bedroom. I gotta be the fucking cheetah. <laughs> All right, I gotta go back down. 
I'll come back and check on you in a few minutes. Oh, I just wanted to uh, talk to you about that thing from earlier. The job. The job. Thing. Oh, the job from earlier. Blood, <laughs> don't be an asshole. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm being real with you. Oh, what did I say earlier? <laughs> you said we'd talk about it later. And now it's later. Very good. So shoot. I'm about to have this kid. I don't want to be like, yeah. wrapping up sandwiches for the rest of my life. You know, I don't want to be coming home with my hands covered in grease, trying to change diapers and stuff. And you're um, someone with a lot going on. You could probably use some help. You're somebody that knows something. Is that fact in the background? I think it's Michael in the background. I don't want to be at the beef because he's day. like that makes sense, talking, right? telling the Bill Almost Murray story. Intentional. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I've never had a mentor. I've never had an uncle. I'm oh, and, and I am neither of those things. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, though, right? No, I do not. I'm not asking you for money. I want to learn. If you teach me, I will learn. And you can trust me. You want me to, you want to teach you thing? Yeah. Yeah, you know, business stuff. Oh. Oh. I get it. I get it. No, I'm reading you. What do you think about it? Maybe. This is before you must have messed up Merry that Christmas. plumbing thing. You too, fuckface. I got allergies, man. Schnell. When what's her name? Damn, Sarah Paulson. Big Neil. Dang, Jesus. in here right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do know what you're saying. Oh yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis, Sarah Paulson. Like, they honestly kind of, like, stack. John like, Mulaney. John Mulaney, the guy who plays Saul? Yeah. Yeah, like. Is New York City the best? Oh, it's the best. You know, it's just like you're alive, and then you come here, and you're dead. You know. Do you think Don is going to do something crazy? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ma, can I help, please? Mm -mm. Can I take? No, honey. I don't want to have to explain to everyone why I call you sugar again. Everybody knows why I'm ready. I, I actually don't know why. I've never heard that story. Do you know what's really f crazy? Oh my God! Is when you're trying to cook and people just they pour into the kitchen. I, I, by the way, I do not know the story. Oh, because she I added, added a, cup a cup of sugar, sugar instead, instead of a cup, cup of, of salt, and then the gravy tasted. Like fucking Hawaiian punch. Sure I'm so glad we had this time together. Now I know. That's kind of fucked up. And now that's well, literally her I, I been her nickname, like is her nickname and has been her tip nickname. Tip the Sugar, you have to remember to what remind to me remember? that the bread isn't. No, no, it wasn't the bread. It was the peppers. Peppers, right. Sugar? Yeah. You're going to have to remind me mm -hmm. to put the bread in okay. right before dinner. I will okay, it's going to go in just to warm up again. Okay, be careful. Don't bring yourself. <clears throat> Did I win? No, no absolutely not. Explain it to me. Let me just tell you. No, I taught you how to play the game. You didn't teach me how to. Yes, I did. No. Yes, I did. Wasn't Gary did. No, he did. He used to take me to the club with the hot girl. I think Gary doesn't do shit. You've never seen a hot girl in your life. You've never, You've never seen a hot girl, girl in your life. life. You got 500 bucks on you? Do you like baseball cards? <laughs> May I take those one at a time? Go ahead. I. Do I have access to 500 bucks? Yeah, I, I absolutely do. Great. That's perfect. Right. That's great. That's great. I'm a 42-year-old man. It's a baseball card. That's baseball okay. cards are back. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah, we're just we're just buying we're buying boxes. And yeah. there's one box on baseball eBay. My are alerts back. are going Baseball cards off are back. Right now. You didn't know this. So they're valuable right they're now. They're valuable right now. Five hundred dollars. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Fifteen hundred dollars. Triple my money. Yeah. I'm going to give you the five hundred dollars. Hold on. Hold on because whatever you do with that yeah. mm. is going to be very interesting to me. Yeah. <laughs> I All I ask, yeah. okay, yeah. one of you has to get in touch with me weekly. Okay. Listen, I want to hear money. when you open the boxes and when you go through the cards, I want to hear what's inventory, what's in it, inventory. and more importantly, what's maybe not in it. Uh, I actually, this, this one. my dad had a Roberto Clemente <laughs> uh, from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Of course. Uh, rookie card, but Michelle and I, we tossed it when we moved. What are you, the stupidest stupid? thing you've ever done? Behind glass. Do you know what you could get for that right now? What, 25? $125,000. $125,000. <laughs> I'm really, I like seeing you guys every year. You can deliver. What is that, a bowl? <laughs> He is there for the plot. Yes. I know sometimes I follow through on things just for the just for the storyline. Yes, Nine times out of ten when I do something, it's for that. Why? Why? What's going on with you? I know there's something. Just tell me. 
Is he really that tall that he sat down that well, even though he's sitting down now he's the same height as Carmi? I just yo, I just I thought I thought when I was back I could work yeah. with you. I've been learning a lot of shit and I don't know, I feel like I got some ideas. You know, I'd love to hear your ideas. I Man, I, I, so I, I, I want to hear about you. I do. I, so I, I don't you need know? you fucking talk. I don't need you talking to Claire Who's and acting all nice if you don't actually give a fuck, you know? What are you talking about? I, I, I don't give a fuck. Why would you say that to me? Because he wants to help at the restaurant and you don't let him yeah. do that. I give like a huge fuck. She's like, I got you, so I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> you got me a present. Yeah, 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 I got you a present. I just want to sit here. Whoa. Yeah. Serious. I mean, before I, uh, she'd give me, like, like, three things about Copenhagen. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, uh, Anything. It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. I slept on a boat. <laughs> I fed an invisible cat. Mm. Hmm. Exactly, like, Corn. what all me said. That's why he sent, yeah. that's why he sent him there. Corn. And I fed an invisible cat. Don't call me that sad. It's like, it's like a little bit rough, but I don't know. It's, it's something. No, man, that's... It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, Mike, we could, um, we could do this, you know? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's right. The thing to crack. Everything no, 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 for no, no, everyone, no, no. no one lifts a finger to help you. Look, I'm getting it right now. Why don't you just go upstairs and get Dad's gun out of my drawer? And I think I'm just gonna blow my brains out, and then you guys can make dinner because I don't think anyone fucking missed me. No, no, yes, you, no, can, no, you can finish dinner. Please, 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 you won't please, even please, miss please, me. Please, you won't Donna, and you need you need to. Come on, get the out. Yes. I take this out. Natalie. Yeah. You okay? Now, will you hug me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you fucking miss me. Gotta get to a fucking ATM, you know? We gotta yeah. get We've heard this story a million times. Sorry? The story. Yeah, what? We, we've heard it a million times. Well, no, we like you have. And cousin has. I have it. I have it. Chill out or f off. Let you us tell the f story. story. Anyway, no, 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 I'll finish. You have it. to find I'll an ATM. Finish it. You yeah. sold the car, and then at the end, you find the horse. For you, Lee, that's that's great. You're like a real genuine fucking ass. Because you know, I cut off the story that you've told a million times. Why don't you finish a business plan? Mm. All right, that's enough. Where's the Where tomato guys? sauce perspective? Oh, shit. Where's the frozen pizza oh, plan? What's going on in here? This check off's talking shit. Yeah, which Jagger? This Jagger. What about Jagger? That is, I guess, about how I like don't finish it. Not stories. He finishes those over and over. Mikey, I mean, come on. Oh, oh, <laughs> a tuna casserole delivery from the North Pole. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> they hate Pete. Mikey, what is up, bro? No, it's seven fishes for Pete. Yeah, I know. That's why I brought this. It's the eighth fish. Oh, what? We can't have one more. What? <laughs> You're so fucked. <laughs> Uh, what's up, Steve? Hey, Pete, thanks for bringing fish. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey, family, come on, let's sit, okay? Hey, Dinner's no ready, way, all right? Hey, up, hey, hey, whoa, 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 what is that? Don't tell him. What do you mean, don't tell him? It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Oh, Steve, Steve, Stevie, what is that? What is it? You're going to be upset, but his heart was in the right place, Carmen. It's a tuna right. casserole. <laughs> Seven fishes. I know, Pete. They didn't communicate. This would make eight fishes. That, that would make us assholes, right? I told him that. It's Swing and a Why are you doing this to me? Okay, I... Don't let her f***ing see it. Don't let her f***ing see it. I didn't know because. Hey, it's good to see you. 
Um, no, Pete, Pete, I no. told you not to fucking do this. I know, but... Oh. Oh, those are good. I love cannolis. How you doing? Me, cannoli, dude. Yeah, you know. You okay? Super bow. I wanted to talk to you. I'm running around like crazy. Yeah, it's a lot. I have this idea, and I just wonder if maybe you'd be open to it. What's up? Like for your own good. What is it? What is it? You want to come stay with me for like a couple of days in New York? Just like get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You know, I think it's really important for you to keep your head in the game. You know, stay focused, keep your eye on the motherfucking prize. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah, no, I'd like that. I'm gonna kind of hold you to it, Carm. This is, um, this isn't good for your head. It's not good for anyone's head, but it's really not good for yours. Yeah, I know. I know yeah, where you know. So. What are you supposed to do, you know? You gotta get out of here. That's what you gotta do. You can just come stay with me anytime you want. I've got a couple of restaurants. I mean, I'm an idiot about this shit, but I think they're very yeah, good. I, yeah. I do. I see what happens here, you know? And I can see how it gets in your head. Yeah. I don't want that for you. Okay, thank you. Okay? Yep. So you're gonna come? Stay yep. with me? I'll try. Feels a little selfish. Um, cause he's been the most chill out of anybody there, so I don't know. That's why it's not selfish. She's telling him he needs to get out cause this whole entire family dynamic is trash and he's too sensitive a soul and has too much going on for him to get stuck doing the same shit that well, his mom's he's, doing. He's the one that's like actually else. like doing exactly. something. That's yeah. what she's saying with that. She's saying, don't stay here. It will fuck you up. <laughs> you don't need to do what they're all doing. I guess when I say selfish, I'm saying it would be selfish for her to also take him and put yeah, of him, him in one of her restaurants instead of like letting him yes. continue to like. Oh, I that's see what, what I meant. Saying. I'm not saying like I, I felt like you maybe weren't understanding, and I don't want people to be confused by what I meant by that. I was confused like, on what part was selfish. Just her putting her in the, her restaurant. No, offering, but like if she were to be like, oh, you should work here. You know what I mean? Like if that's how that would have gone. Yeah. All of a sudden, after all these years, I'm missing that bad buck. <laughs> anyway, and, and here you are, you're eating a banana. Anyway, it's kind of funny. But I mean, it's the holidays, too. Yeah. yeah. All comes back up, doesn't it? Sure does come back up. Oh, boy. Oh, oh I get it. <laughs> That's clever. Nice. Is it clever or gross? Oh, I'm such an asshole. I wanted to say thank you. What for, darling? Oh, for giving Richie oh, a chance. Oh, no, no, no. What? Uh, babe, well, um, what? Hold, you, you know what? No, 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 no. I it's just not public it? information yet. Just just, what's, what's not public information? Oh, uh, you know, Tip and I were talking earlier, and yeah, I was just letting her know a little what's bit about public how, information? just how Richard, like, when we, Richard, shut the Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm talking to Tip. I know, but we were just saying, like, Richard, um, having a conversation with your wife, Tiffany. Yeah. What are you saying, my dear? I don't know what the fuck is going on here because I was just going to thank you for giving Richie a job. It's not true? No. Is that not what's happening it's, here? It's not He's not true. Uh, <sighs> yeah, he told me he... Lying to your pregnant wife. Yeah, he told me he gave him a job. Okay, well, here's the truth, all right? I mean, you know, I'm a big fan of this guy. I believe in him. I do. Which is precisely why I gave him a fucking job. Oh, right? good cover. Thing is, I just want to keep a lid on it for now. Because I don't want every jack off in all of the land to know that I have all these jobs to give out, which I don't. Right, Richard? Yeah. I'm right? sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry. I didn't know I was supposed to say you know, anything. My darling, how could you know? And I promise you, I will not say I will not say a word until you say that it's okay. But I just want to say thank you so much because we really appreciate you, and I appreciate you too. To both of you. And that's why they have beef now. Oh, what's up, Mom? She's got the wine sobs. I'm fine. Oh, I'm wait. Come on, give me the martyrdom. That's all I'm missing here, and it's exactly like Christmas at home. <laughs> I wish I was fucking kidding. I don't think I can do this by myself anymore. You're not by yourself, right? Nobody out there gives a shit about me. It's not true. That's not true. We all love you so much. I had to beg you to come home. Happy to be here. Okay. <laughs> Damn, oh. Mom, I'm really happy to see you. Okay. It's okay. I just I worked all day for them. I worked all day. I know. I know. <laughs> <Everybody> <laughs> really appreciate Sorry, I'm not laughing because it's funny. This is fucking hard. What's hard? What's hard, Mom? What is it? I make things beautiful for them. No one makes things beautiful for me. 
Look, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sit down now. Why don't you? Why don't you give me your hand? No, I'm gonna go sit. No, I'm sit. Okay. Come on, mom. Come on. I'll go in a minute. All right. Well, I'll just wait. I'll okay, wait for you. I'll be there in a minute. Uh, I said. Are you good? Go. I'm good. Go. Go sit. Why are you treating me like a child? No, I'm not treating you like a child, mom. No. Do we have a problem? Do we? Do we have a problem? Mm -hmm. Do we have a problem? I'm so good. There's too oh my much God. in There's this episode. I'm learning too much about this family all at once. Uh, you want to say grace? <laughs> I don't know, cousin. Is this motherfucker going to cut me off? <clears throat> Depends. Uh, is it a grace we've heard a million times before? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to ask the same question I ask every year, which is, what the hell is the point of seven fishes? I don't get it. Oh, I know the answer. Well, it's biblical, okay? There's seven fishes, and uh, also, uh, by the manger, right? There's uh, Dutch oven potatoes that burned the living shit out of me earlier. <laughs> oh. Did you just throw a fork at me? I did. <laughs> See, that's the thing, Lisey, because you already did that. You remember, you already bitched about the Dutch ovens. No, he started it, Uncle Jay. Mike, just don't throw forks at people. Don't throw forks. Don't, yeah, don't, don't throw forks at people. Don't, 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 it's a rule. Don't, don't, it's a rule. It's a rule. Hey, fat. Using your fork. Yeah, and I, I, I need it, Mike. Please, it. please. I just need a bar. For, I'm just gonna bar for a second. I just need it for Mike, one second. Come on, dude. Yo, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Hey, Michael. Michael. See what I did? I Michael. threw a fork. Tiff, tiff, please. tiff. You see, I can throw forks, because this is our father's house. Okay, okay. you got everyone's attention. So Listen, go ahead and tell us a story. Uh, yeah, tell a story about how you're living with your mom, and your boy yeah, off of her, and any yeah. other sucker who listen to your bullshit. Alicia. Knew yeah, it was going was, there. Jimmy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I told him not to help. I told him to tell you to go scratch. Thanks a whole f***ing lot, buddy. You come back next year, okay? Oh, sh 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 fuck. Oh, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's, it's, fine. Fine. it's, it's fine. fine because this guy's nothing, and he's nobody. And I know you're you're scared and you're afraid, aren't you, Michael? I don't know what, what the f*** you're on, but whatever it is, if you can hear me through the fog, throw another fork at me, you're going to get f***ing rocked. Jesus. Michael, 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 you throw it or put it down. <laughs> Come on. This Richie's ready to go. Like, Richie's like literally like, Stop. throw the fork Stop. again. Stop. Throw the fork. Throw the fork. You're nothing. You are nothing. You're nothing. Well, he internalize that, didn't he? Here she is. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What did I miss? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I don't, I just I don't say the thing, okay? Come on, okay. Uh, um, hey, it's great <laughs> that we're all... I'm sorry. That we're all together um, and healthy, <clears throat> I think. Uh, no one's physically very sick. What an incredible job Donna did. And I, I, could, I could hear in there, it sounded very hard. Gorgeous. And is he still holding the fork? Sure is. Yep. Okay. Mm. Everyone's asking what, this, what is the seven fishes, or why do we do it? Mm -hmm. And I think I know what my definition is, uh, as soon as I think of it. <laughs> it's a chance to be together and to take care of each other and there's seven fishes, which means you have to make seven entirely different dishes. I think spending that time and using that time on the people that we love is how we show them that we love them. But we have to take extra time to do it. And we have to chew more. <laughs> and we have to listen more. Thank you for having me every year at this. I look, I very much look forward to this. And I love you. I, I, I'm very in love with Michelle. And I'm not gay like you guys asked a lot. 
<laughs> I was thinking about what what you said about bears and how they're aggressive. They're aggressive, but they're kind. They're sensitive. You let me hang out with you every holiday. I don't have a family like this. And I'm really grateful that um, you make space for me at this table and you make time for me on the holidays. May God bless us and keep us safe in the new year. And please give Michael the strength not to throw that fork, amen. Stevie, that was, um, it's beautiful. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, I say, but I... yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, she's, she's emotionally checking her yeah, mom. Natalie. Do you know how much I fucking hate when you ask me that? Do you know how much I fucking hate? Do you ask me that? Okay. Do, do you ask the rest of these people if they're okay? Do I not look okay? Not really. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, fuck you, Michelle. I do not look okay. Did I not just bust? Oh, there it is. All day for your mother. Cursed Martyrdom. This is beautiful. Am I okay? Am I okay? Are you motherfuckers okay? Are you okay, Lee? You didn't do sh. Yep. Fuck you. Fuck that. I guess we all knew that was going to happen. It's out, and uh, maybe everybody, everybody can relax, huh? But that's it. That's the worst part. It's like when Michael's outside, it's like you can't ask them if they're okay. You just treat them like they are okay because we know they're not. Oh my God, no, he did it. Fuck me, dude. Mikey okay. got Mikey inherited the the substance abuse. Well, Mikey, I think naturally is take probably has taken the brunt the longest, right? And then of course, like he seems to be the one that she doesn't. Yell, she didn't really yell at him that much. That much. It seems like he is kind of this like well it's Mikey. probably because she's like, probably the one most like her so they probably don't butt heads because she knows like, he knows exactly how to treat her well and he if knows he's the oldest right? right like that's her that's her that's her first baby like that that's her first kid so there might have been a time there possibly that dad was there like dad's still there like she's talking mm -hmm. about like you know like she's lonely like no one comes around right like dad's like but I don't... The family, like, the family is maybe was more cohesive at one point in time. Um, and then, like, if if she had... Like, I'm just saying this as an assumption if he's the older child, right? Like, that's her first kid. So, he seems to be, like, the one that maybe initially, if she displaces her emotions, like, onto her kids, and even, like, her telling Natalie, like, fuck you, Natalie, like, basically, like, saying, like, this is your fault, right? We see it, like, why does nobody help me? And, like, Natalie's, like, literally on the ground. She's like, I'm, yeah. I'm helping right now. Like, I'm cleaning it up. I'm doing everything. Like, she's trying to emotionally compensate. Like, it's basically, um, it's the... What do they call that? What uh, is... Well, not... This is, to be honest, this is how I feel about this, and this is just my assumption, is Michael was the baby, and he's a baby boy. Natalie's a middle child, Natalie's a female, Natalie was parentified over Mikey, because Mikey's always been the fun, outgoing one, like, had the best time, talked much shit. I feel like Mikey and his mom have much more of a, um, like, friend 
relationship as they've gotten older yeah. versus Natalie was forced to parentify, probably look after Carmi, even maybe look after Mike from a younger age. And then Carmi's the one who get, is the youngest and just decided he really kind of went into himself and decided he wanted to escape and that's why he left. So when Natalie asked well, the mom, I, like... Well, and I also think, okay, so for Carmi too, I also think that Carmi obviously like really loves his brother so i think like his brother like i think his the you know mikey i think mikey kind of seems like he's the one banging on the car like ma what did you do like get out of the car like he's the one that is like he's kind of a doer and a fixer because Mm -hmm. of his trauma like he's doing everything finding like trying to find a solution to make something work even if it's super fucking shitty like he's just gonna work with what he has like he is like gritty and i think that's why he has like all the stories that he does and that's why like they're selling drugs out of the back of the alley and like he doesn't want carmy to like be involved in the restaurant and like he is obviously aware of like how all of that like is affecting everybody around him in some way because like him crying when carmy gives him the gift of like this rough sketch of the bear and like his concept right for them to like do this together but he doesn't want i think like he wants carmy to like save himself Mm -hmm. and like get the fuck out of there Hmm. there's a specific type of abuse where like you basically make your children reliable for parentification yes but it's not parentification i'm thinking of something different but i mean that's close um because it's not giving advice on like because parentification would be to give it it says to give advice on grown-up situations diffuse household arguments or comfort their sibling siblings during trying times they usually don't get the same emotional support back from their parents and it's not that like because she won't accept emotional support from them um like even with carmy like in the kitchen uh when he like leans into the counter and he's like okay well like let's talk about it like he's like really sweet like definitely trying to be there for his mom but then the minute he's like you know like why don't we go and and she's like get out like go sit like go sit down like she like continues to like yell at him but i like when mikey first was talking outside and he's like no you don't do that and i was like oh yeah. she's an alcoholic isn't she because you're trying to control the environment so you know you can't control control her emotions because she doesn't regulate her emotions so you're gonna tiptoe around that that whole time and that's what it was that was so much trauma also i'm assuming lee and her Herod's mom like were together at some point but now aren't together because when mikey comes in and looks at them on the phone they go we're really doing this again guys so I think that's another thing. Also, yeah. Lee was going in way too... Well, I mean, he went in hard at Mikey, but he was like, you don't finish anything, you don't start. So, I mean, don't throw a fork, but also, homie, you could have stopped after the first time you said that he was nothing. You didn't have to keep going. Yeah. Shit's toxic as hell. Um, I'm thinking of emotional incest. Ah. Because it could be, like, a blend of both. But it's like she's, like, acting in ways that are very... in a, That obviously... Like, she has always acted in ways that are very inappropriate for her. Her children are not supposed to be that emotionally responsible yeah. for the things that are going on around her. And then she's constantly screaming, well, why does nobody do anything? Why is nobody doing anything for me when they are actively trying to do things? And then when they're trying to step up, she d- she doesn't accept it. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, like, to me, it's like an emotional incest situation or, like, <laughs> yeah. And, well, and then that's what I'm saying. And then you double that down with alcoholism yeah i mean it's a big obviously there's nine times out you don't become an alcoholic because you like absolutely are great at life um (laughs) or at emotionally regulating or anything like that but like yeah just the instability of the whole thing and man the martyrdom shit too is just like i'm like "Mm, yeah like you won't accept help you're gonna bitch but then you're gonna be like no one cares about me no one wants me wants to help me Ah." well and i think uh, and that's what's hard too is i think there could be like a grain of truth like in her saying that she feels lonely because there's probably some you know obviously some sort of trauma that is causing her to have alcoholism like that's just something that's like just not like i don't think that and we don't know what that is but yeah. like um, i think a little too deep there but like saying to say that it's not true for her that she is lonely unless it's a holiday like this like i mean i think that's true for a lot of parents like as they get older there's like i read a study the other day that said like the loneliest people are people who are older and at retirement age and have kids yeah like empty nesters 
Yeah. For sure. But Mike lives with her. I, I'm, I'm not, let me rephrase. I'm not saying that she's not lonely. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I do think a lot of times, especially on the holidays, especially when it's one of those things like when, what you're saying, like like the emotional stuff, like putting her emotions and her things like on her children in that matter is, it's also like... Yeah, when it when that's like that's it your adult more, that's your adult emotions like that's that yeah, you need to be able no, to regulate exactly. That. And I think when she says that to them, it's more of a like when especially when she's talking to Carmen about how they don't care, they don't care. It's like, but they do. You just you know you kind of internalize this. You don't take the help. Like you feel like you know all that other piece. So like with that emotional thing. So it's not that she's not lonely. It's just also like at that point in time, it feels like she's gone so much into herself. That you know, even no, if and, someone and were it is, to be just, there and support, if she doesn't want that, though. no, and it, that's but not it, what she because wants. it's just her redirecting yeah. her issue and not taking responsibility. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. It's like that's where I think it actually becomes not parentification because she's not making them like no. Like but, I think it could lead into that, but I think it starts with like I, what she's the base of it would to me be emotional incest. Like she's making her children responsible for these outbursts that as an mm -hmm. adult, like she should be handling with other adults, right. with other support systems right. in her life and, and not with yeah, her she children. Have. Like she, she should not be acting. It doesn't like, yeah. seem like she's had it at all or with anybody. Um, and that, Oh God. But, but the parentification, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep pushing that piece. It's just like that one thing with sugar. It's like, she's clearly had to do that role because mom has always been like this. And that's why she's always asking if she's okay or if she can help because like previously she's probably had to been pushed into that situation because this is where mom. Well, and she's trying, a she is trying to help her mom. And, and, and that's where she feels. And that's why I'm saying emotional incest would make yeah. sense because she, because it makes Absolutely. her as the child feel responsible Mm -hmm. For the emotions that her mom is expressing, right. and then her mom to turn around and blame those feelings on something that she's potentially doing as the child who should be receiving the care mm -hmm. as instead of opposite, then it becomes this really like toxic environment. And so now Natalie will walk around on eggshells. And that's why I was saying, like, she, uh, like, you almost notice immediately that, like, she loses all of her, like, energy like mm -hmm. it's completely sucked out of her mm -hmm. like any of anything we've saw of natalie up to this point like she, that personality is like not there at all like mm -hmm. she's like a blank slate because i think she's like getting ready to like take on whatever her mom's gonna place on her as her yeah. fault or try to find a way to like fix it and so i think like it, it's really that's really sad yeah. and then i think carmy has done you know as much as he he can, and he explained that in the in his in that one monologue about why he went out, and I think he feels a a greater attachment to his brother. Um, you well, know. he was probably the more stable force before, he, but until he because, wasn't because he wants to prove yeah. something, you know. And I think it does probably the the wanting to prove something does extend past um, extend past Mikey. I think it probably did for a while. Until it got to the point where obviously they talked more about like, well, why won't you let me help? Like, why, why can't I help? And so then he keeps, he started, like he said, you know, like flipped, flipped a switch in him and, mm -hmm. and that really hurt him. And, and he just went off, you know, like, yeah. and he was going to prove himself and he's going to get all this shit done. And like, it, he's created something really good out of it, but it's, you know, and, but now unfortunately his brother. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. too, you know, if, like, alcoholism runs in his family, like, him trying to avoid, you know, I mean, like, going to the meetings, like, doing all this stuff, like, and even trying to avoid maybe certain things that he fears could come up for him, too. Like, there's just, like, a lot of things Ooh, that I think he me. could probably have, like. Well, yeah, no, the Al-Anon, um, so, is, like, for people with family members who are addicts and, well, I and clearly the mom and that all that other stuff too like he like i feel like god like because you don't see like they allude to how bad like their mom is and like all those kinds of things but they don't really like talk much about that at all that's kind of always just been the focus like mikey was yeah. addicted to drugs and no one knew he was using drugs but like even with watching this it's kind of like mm, i think you all had more of an idea than you thought too it's like yeah ugh. just overall it's a very toxic I know. Well, family yeah. holiday yeah, the, dynamic. The fact Jesus. that it becomes an entire argument at the table yeah. at the end of the night. And it's it, like, 
And it's almost like it just sneaks up at you. It's like, oh, do we just think, like, why isn't Lee a reliable source? Why is this all taking late? But again, if you're in this chaos all the time, I mean, I was having a my mind oh, it was here. Terrible. I was like, oh, yeah, his name's Cab, like, New York. And it's like, no, bitch, like, they've been in Chicago and you know that. Like, I'm like, no, but it's like, there's so just much so much happening. information. And I'm like, okay, well, the cousin, the other Brazado, like, she's with that guy. And, like, she's in New York. Yeah. Like, she has restaurants. Mikey has a restaurant. Uncle Jay is just chilling. I, I, who knows we who, finally who see, Lee is to anybody? Yeah, too, like, so. Lee, Lee's just there, like, doing Lee things, I guess. And. It was just like, and you could see it all building, but I think that's why the part where uh, his cousin's like, yeah, no, I, you should need to come see me because you need to get out of it. I, yeah, because if you stay there, it's like, yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to play cleanup? Are you going to get yelled at? Like, sure, you get yelled at. Are you going to avoid like Mikey does? Or like, what are you going to do? Yeah. It's kind of that piece, but. We get it now. We get the family dynamic too much. And Carmi, I feel like he tries. Like he's like he's the one that and I think that's why he's where he's at now with actually like working and like his ability to get thing like to be a good chef and like he's followed through on his goal. But it's like it's really sad because Carmi is very obviously like a sweet son. And how heartbreaking. He couldn't help his mom. He couldn't help his brother. Yeah, that's generational and... trauma for you. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. And then, yeah, and then it, like, it, not like, great. yeah. So that's why he thrives in the chaos, man. When that's the chaos, you know, kitchen, kitchen feels real, a lot like home. Yeah. <laughs> Restaurant world feels a lot, a lot like, like home. home. <laughs> Which makes sense, too, yeah. like, why some of the bickering mm -hmm. or fights that he's had, too, like, with some of the staff members... Like, the way that he's, like, you know, like, throwing the donut mm -hmm. on the ground or, like, there's, like, I think moments of him that maybe could be. Sorry, my watch um, just vibrated weird. Oh, you're okay. Like, similar to his mom or just, like, the the energy. It's of, the energy. Of, it's the energy the, overall. Of the kitchen, it's you know, probably during way more or. comfortable during a rush than it is when it's slow. Yeah. You're not getting threatened to have someone cry or walk off the line. Are yeah. you living? Which would also kind of make sense, too. Like, his dynamic with Sydney makes a little bit more sense uh, as well. Like, him not really being a team player like not being he's, able to accept help he's almost. with yeah. yeah he's like with the team but like like he's there but like he's not really like fully contributing to like the ideas that everyone else has like he's mm -hmm. feeding his own ambition but like he's he's just not really like fully allowing himself to emotionally interact with mm -hmm. everyone else around him because like the whole time like he really doesn't talk yeah, he really he really doesn't say a lot. Like the most he says is when he's trying to genuinely trying to check in with his mom before she's like, "Do we have a problem?" Like all this stuff, and he's like, "No." Like, you know, yeah. I yeah. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, fact is fact. He's hilarious. That was great. The his brothers were so. Weird. I, I'm assuming that was his brother. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> I mean, there's so many of them. Well, and that's a, that's a running joke. It's like, yeah. how many of you are there? Crazy. Like, uh, I don't want to go to that house for Christmas. So yeah. Okay. But. Well, hopefully some of our confusion is understood in like the chaos of this entire episode. That's a lot to keep up with. Like this is definitely an episode that you go back and rewatch. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna see like eight million more things. Like like at the house, like they don't cut the sound in the back. Mm -mm. Like people are so arguing. Like you heard. Uh, mm. Yeah, him telling the Bill, Mike, Mikey telling Bill his Murray story. Bill again. Murray story in the background. You know, when Richie's trying to have a conversation with Uncle Jay at the stairs, like, there's just so much going on. Like, I just can't. It's chaos. Yeah. Also, like, yeah, there's pe people coming. It literally felt like holiday at their house. Like, it's insane. The writing is so good. And basically, too, like, the scene where Sugar's like, please, like, please, Mikey, like, don't do this. I love you. Like, don't do it. Like, with the fork is basically, like, a conversation like, it's almost like a precursor conversation of her, like, begging him not to kill himself. Yeah. It's... Which is insane writing. Like, that's crazy. Like, that yeah. is crazy. Like, they're all begging him. Like, Mikey, please don't do this. Like, please don't do yeah. this. Please don't. Please don't. 
Ugh. I know. It's yeah. not like go shake it off. It's like, ugh. and it's like it's basically like that's like it, it insinuates to them like begging for him to like spare his life. It's yucky. After homie just screams, he's nothing. I'm seventeen times. Yeah, too, and so. then yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's gross. I don't. Yeah, I need to go shake off the bad vibes. Yeah, let's we're gonna catch the last bit of sunshine we can get. Yeah. (laughs) Well thank you guys so much for watching with us and we will catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye.